is, do you, and I don't know what you guys envision, but do you want to place, you know, multiple pieces, mm -hmm. like, are they going to be beside each other? You don't have a ton of space. Are they going to be stacked on top of each other? I want you to, like, we have to determine the size that you're getting these printed out on. Um, and this, these are all your decisions that you have to work as a group. Well, and if I could say something about size, if you do what Barbara says and figure out, um, you know, what sizes you want before we actually print right. them, then we can spend, we, ha we do have a budget and we want to pay to have these enlarged. So instead of just getting a bunch enlarged and then figuring out if they'll, they'll fit, mm -hmm. figure out what's going to fit first right. and then we'll spend less money. Mm -hmm. And I make scale models. So if you have graph paper, okay. which you probably do, yeah, somewhere. Um, just, you know, take a ruler and every inch is a foot. And so if you look at this, um, this wall, it's ten and a half feet tall. So if you say that you want, um, let's say you want them to be 36 inches high, I mean whatever, if, and, and do something that's in proportion to the art that you're doing, then that's how big it would be, three inches. So when you put three inches, um, you know, in this model, you can see how much space it takes up. And so if you decided you were going to do 36 inch ones, you know, you probably have um, room for 10, maybe 12 at the most. But if you went um, uh, a little bit smaller or if you picked, you know, something that was great in a really large size, like let's say you wanted to do, you know, a really big one. Maybe you want something that's 60 inches and you put a really big one down on this wall and then you do smaller ones around. Um, that's the kind of decision that you make. It's sort of an aesthetic, visual decision that you decide based on the artwork that you're looking at. If it does it, is it worthy of blowing it up to that big, or do you want to do something that that's more consistent? Um, if you wanted to do um, really get a, the maximum, um, you know, sort of bang for your space here, then you could double up um, making your scale models. Um, cut them out of little pieces of paper and then just number them and see now some of them maybe you've got ten and a half feet high you could double hang some you could double hang them all if you wanted I mean you could have this gallery as a salon that you know there's things and they don't have to hang um, equally either I mean te we tend to hang things at 60 inches center so that's our eye level my eye level not yours yours, <laughs> you know, so it's, um, so the, the, the more um, height impaired of us, um, it's perfect eye level, but it is um, sort of the standard throughout the industry. So